It's, it, you know, yes, it's 14.5. It doesn't feel like 14.5. It feels very approachable. And he says that stuff. not I'm very heady. Keep going. Keep going. No, you can keep going. Yeah, he's making fun of me right now. Hi everyone, thank you for joining us for another edition of Paris Perfect. Today we're doing Thanksgiving food, some wine, with our special guest, Jay Mendoza. Jay, thank you for joining us. Thank you for, thank you for joining us. Thank yeah, you for having me. Appreciate thank you for having yeah, me. yeah, we're here today to celebrate Thanksgiving. Well, I'm already hungry, so. <laughs> yeah, Let's, uh, we, we, we got some good fixing here. We got the turkey, mashed potatoes and gravy. We got the mac and cheese, the stuffing, the cranberry. Cranberry, cranberry, yeah, cranberry. cranberry yeah, yeah. Cornbread. Cranberry. Cornbread. Yeah, cornbread is my favorite. We got everything. We got it all. I'm, I'm used to eating turkey mole for oh, Thanksgiving, mole? so okay. this type of meal is not traditionally what I do, but you know what? We're, we're going to do this. You're on board. I'm on board. Yeah, you're we're going to do it. Full gringo. I, I'm, full I'm gringo. going full gringo, <laughs> and we're going to do the gringo wine to go with it. So, <laughs> well, right. the, the wine that we brought uh, is not gringo wine. We're actually going to be visiting Germany and Alsace, so Germany and France. Bon winning. Uh, Riesling, and then we have a little Trimbach Gewurztraminer. So let's pile some stuff on our yeah, plates and let's, let's try it, it out. Yeah. So Jay, here at Paris Perfect, what we do is we try to find unusual pairings. Okay. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll look for the traditional pairing, but we're looking for that one thing that is like, whoa, I was not expecting that to be a great pairing. So okay, okay. I know you were telling us you're not a huge wine guy. I'm not a so wine. So I want you I to- I mean, I don't even know if I could pronounce these uh, wines. Oh, well, trust me, I can't either. So that's that's not that's not from being a I wine guy or not. I him long ago. Leave it so, up to the gringo, right? Yeah, leave it up yeah, to the yeah, gringo, yeah. that's right. <laughs> On the left, you said we have the the- that guy? Yeah, the more golden in color is the Gewürztraminer, and it really means spice <laughs> garden. It's funny, the first time I went to Temecula, <laughs> Temecula, uh, Temecula, down in Southern California, I was at this uh, winery called Callaway Vineyards, and you got a free tasting if you could pronounce this word, Gewürztraminer. And I could at the time, so I was pretty proud of myself. But it's a kind of a tongue twister, Gewürztraminer. It means like basically spice garden in German. Us sommeliers were lazy and we we shortened it up. So we call it Gewürz. Gewürz, yeah. okay. I get why they say Spice Garden. Yeah. Yeah. If you try it, it does definitely taste like a spice it's green. It's like Grandma's like, perfume, right? Uh, it's very perfumey, it's high toned. There's a lot of like lilacs and white flowers. It's pretty good. Yeah? Yeah. You like it? I mean, I like it. I just, it's just interesting. It's yeah, just yeah. like the spice, a lot of spice notes. So let's try the Gewürz here with the stuffing and the turkey and add in like a little uh, topper of cranberry. So Jay, uh -huh. talk to me about your upbringing. Was Thanksgiving a part of your family? I grew up in Venice, California. Um, mm -hmm. My father is from Puebla, Mexico. There you go. And uh, my mom is from El Salvador. Growing up, we had Thanksgiving, but it wasn't just turkey. We had a little bit of everything. Yeah. So far, I didn't find out anything that to me went well with this. You try it with the cranberry sauce. I did. I did try the cranberry yeah. sauce. So you have to Chris. eat the cranberry sauce, then drink it. Yes. You want to have all of these things in your mouth already, and you want to put the wine right on top of it. So a little bit of cranberry, a little bit of turkey, a little bit of stuffing. So the cranberry sauce by itself does it does pair well, but once you put everything else in it, I, I don't. To me, it was not a great pairing. So you might as well make the wine with the cranberry, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Look, cranberry bomb. Mm-hmm. It's pretty good. Yeah, I don't taste the wine, but it's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> so the second wine we have, just as a counterbalance, uh, it's a little drier style. It's a German Riesling from Von Winning. Mm -hmm. So is there a specific way that we're, you're supposed to drink wine? Like, I've heard you put your pinky up. I heard you pinky up is uh, a definite, right? <laughs> okay. That's that's like no. In our show, we'd like try to go away, like tuck to pinky. Okay, yeah. tuck it, tuck it, tuck to pinky, tuck it in. Yeah, to make it less snobby, right? Mm -hmm. So drier, I like this. Less, less floral, mm -hmm. uh, less unctuous, and the residual sugar is probably less as well. Fourteen three. So in theory, this is bone dry. Here we have twelve. So in theory, we probably have a touch of residual sugar here. Mm -hmm. As a little sidebar, uh, kind of a, a one on one for 
For Jay and the people, right? For Jay and the people out there. <laughs> we have two bottles and you don't know how much sweetness is gonna be in the wine. That's totally justifiable because you don't really know it. It will not tell you on the front of the label. Some German labels will tell you on the front of the label to an extent. This one is not gonna give us that, but just know that if you're trying to figure out if a wine is gonna have like sugar or residual sugar to it, you look at the back label and the back label by law, every wine has to have alcohol statements. So you see that? 12%. 12.5 or 12. And then on this one, it's 14.3. So if so, we can't walk out of here, you know why, right? This is true. We've had <laughs> too much of the 14.3. <laughs> At 12.5 and higher, you will have, you have drunk this, uh, but all the all the sugar would have converted. And at 12.5 and lower, you're gonna have residual sugar. So if I was in a grocery store and I'm looking to buy these wines and I'm trying to figure out which one is sweet, which one isn't. If I see 14.3, it's gonna be dry. You can bank on that. If you see anything less than 12.5, you should expect a little bit of residual sugar. Did you get that, Jay? I got it all. <laughs> Jay, what do you think of these pairings? I mean, just- I love mac and cheese. Okay. Cornbread. I like pan, you know? Yeah. Uh, turkey, I love it. Even though sometimes I feel like turkey can be a little dry. Dry fruit, that's why we did yeah. mole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So mm -hmm. it's funny, because my, my family, we do chicken. Because nobody yeah. likes the dryness of the turkey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, totally, totally agree with that. Yeah, there you go. I mean, we, you know. Figure something out, right? Yeah, that's right. Mexicans think alike. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they provided some good cover for the meat. You know, turkey can be dry. That's why I yeah. think residual sugar can be your friend. For me, the favorite was the Riesling. I like the leanness about it, to cut through this, keep it refreshing, keep it light. The Gewürztraminer is always almost too floral for me. Yeah. yeah. You know, like someone had like a couple of drops of perfume in there mm -hmm. and it just throws it off for me. For me, this one was floral and this one was lean. Yeah. Yeah. Right? I'll take yeah. If I had to pick one, that would definitely. <laughs> Which one is lower in uh, Adrian's yeah, glass? That one over the there. Riesling. Yeah, me he too. liked the Riesling. Yeah. Well, if I had to pick one, I'd definitely go with the Riesling. It wasn't, they were not my favorites to pair with this meal here. Um, so we move on to the Reds? I said we move on to the Reds. Absolutely. Right. Are we ready with the Reds now to, to continue pairing, continue having this awesome conversation? Uh, we have a Rioja on the right and a Zinfandel on the left, correct? Yes. Nice. And I've, I've, I've always heard Zinfandels go great with Thanksgiving dinners. You know, they can be because they're really fruity style uh, wines. Uh, they can be peppery. This one is totally chill. It's ridge. I think the alcohol is like totally restrained at 14.5. Jay, uh, you know, Tell us about, you know, how you got started into the world of social media and content creation. You do an amazing job. I love Thank watching you, all your videos and sure. everything, especially when you start to going into, into the Mexican, <laughs> yeah, like yeah. the 90s yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and the 2000s. So t tell us a little bit about that. So I started on this app called Vine. It was okay. literally creating six seconds. And then Vine was the first thing that created short format for the people like myself, short attention span. And I'm like, right. yo, next thing you know, it's like, that's when scrolling started. Yeah, I feel like a dinosaur. I was like, scrolling started. Um, yeah. But so I went from Vine, and then Vine kind of like was bought by Twitter, just died off. People, but people took off. Like now you got people who are doing movies, they're doing, you know, they've, they've gone on to WrestleMania, like Logan Paul. That's where Logan Paul came from. Oh, wow. Just all different sorts. It just opened and gave opportunities to different creators. I've been doing this for nine years now. I make it all from mm -hmm. a cell phone. That's right. I shoot it, I edit it on my phone. I let it go into the world, and some days I'm like, I hope it goes viral, and some days I'm like, what happened? Every day you gotta show up. So social media is the same thing. Take day. your hits, take your punches. Dude, you take your punches. Get back so, up. Yeah, you get back up. I can't be there and think like a sore loser. Like, oh, I suck today. You know, no, I, I gotta show back up and I gotta put it, put in the work. All right, well, let's dabble on this turkey and uh, you know try a little yeah, bit more of this red wine. A little bit on you know wine, which can be very daunting, right? Uh -huh. It's very pinky up. Both of these wines to me go go well with this dinner. Do you have a favorite? Um, because I have a favorite. My favorite is probably gonna be the Rioja. I think they both taste the same to me. <laughs> they're very similar. Yeah? They're okay, very okay. Similar. I was like, um, No, they're very similar. You know, to me, the Rioja hit some really good notes where it almost makes the juicy, or the turkey feel juicy and like flavorful. Okay. It almost gives it that like cranberries okay. you know, note sure. to it. Yeah. For me, I, I like the, the Zinfandel. I, okay. The Zinfandel is like punchy and fruity. 
it's it, you know yes it's 14.5 it doesn't feel like 14.5 it feels very approachable when he says that stuff not i have very no clue what he's saying <laughs> keep, yeah, keep, keep going no you can keep going yeah, yeah he's making fun of me right? <laughs> all he says he wants to hear modelo that's all you yeah <laughs> so i'm i'm in the i'm in the zinfandel camp since we got one and one yeah. jay yeah. pick left or right you don't have to say zinfandel real i'll say left or right I would say right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it just it tastes a little bit in his terminology leaner. There you, you know go. What I'm saying? It tastes it's a little, a little leaner. leaner. We are enjoying a good turkey dinner here. One thing we want to try with you is our dessert that we have created on this show. One of our very first episodes, we we're doing candies, like uh stuff that you just have at home with, yeah, with you kids. Get Ikes and mics and Sour Patch Kids and oh. Snickers and like all these different things and yeah. try them with different wines, right? And see see what goes with wine, right? And then we got to Oreos. Oreos and wine. We're like, oh, that sounds like it would be good. It's chocolate and wine, you know, it sounds I'll like be cream. There. I love Oreos. And then, we're, and then I was like, remember when you were a kid and you used to dump the Oreos in milk? I was like, what if we dump the Oreo in the wine? And so we dumped it in the wine. We let it sit for a little bit. And then once it got nice and like moist, then we shot the whole thing. So we call it an Oreo bomb. Oh, wow. So we want you to try it. I'd love to. All right. Can you try it? Yeah, so let's, let's do it. Let's get it. Let's make sure we get enough Sorry. Zinfandel. Yeah. Dunk it in there. Zinfandel. Literally drop it? Yep. Yeah, just yeah. drop it in there. It doesn't break? No. It, it'll yeah. be. One, 1,000, two, 1,000. Drop. And you got to chug the whole thing? Chug the whole the thing. Whole once thing. Let, let, it, let, it, let, let it sit there. Right. You don't want me to walk out of here. about <laughs> now. Pretty awesome. <laughs> it's good, right? Yeah. But I don't know if I'm more amazed on the taste or that it didn't break. It like it, it turns the wine into like you get the wine and then you get like all these awesome little mixture of flavors with the Oreo. Oh man, that was great. I know. Right? right? Should I do it again? <laughs> <laughs> I definitely think that this meal goes better with a red wine. I agree. Compared sure. to a white sure. wine. Yeah, fruity mm -hmm. style red wine, not a lot of oak. I think we could have done even some more fruity versions, Pinot Noir, Barbera, that kind of thing. Yep. You're going to like something different than the next guy. In a very simpler way, red wines go well. White yeah. ones, not so much, okay? Enjoy Roll your dinner. Jay, please let everybody know, uh, they don't already know, uh, where how they can follow you, where they can follow you, so they can check out the amazing content that you do. At Jay Mendoza is where you guys can follow me. J-A-Y Mendoza. Uh, and thank you for the knowledge of uh, wine because I don't know how to pronounce it, but. Yeah, I struggle myself, but I just like sharing great wines with uh, my friends. Love it. Well, everybody, thank you for joining us for another <laughs> episode. Uh, you know, like, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you next next time. Cheers, cheers, cheers. 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 Think in, right? <laughs>